Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host AMF1534 here. Welcome back to Let's Play some more Grand Theft Auto 3. So in the last one, we got the, the entire game started up here. Kind of laid down the ground floor a little bit. And we just flipped off a black guy driving a car with his headphones on. And now we're going to move. So uh, we come to find out that our ex-girlfriend was a total psychotic bitch. And uh, she pretty much ruined our lives. And so now we're climbing the mob ladder trying to exact our revenge upon her. So we're going to do some missions right now. We got a couple of them done last time. We got... Mr. L over here, and then we got Jimmy Valvano down there on the other side of things, but this one's closer, so we'll do it first. Um, I'll tell you something here in a sec. Son of the Alpha Scumbag has been a pimp and disgusting bitches in my backyard. Go and take care of things for me. If you need a piece, go around back of the nation opposite the subway. Alright, well then I'll do that. I'll bet he probably ran down two flights of stairs just to tell me that, too. Oh, I love that car so much. The Diablo Stallion is easily the best car in this area. But that's all good. So, another little thing is, uh, I bumped up the brightness on this a little bit. I noticed in the first video of this, uh, for whatever reason, the, uh, the brightness was, it was really, it was really dark. So, I decided to, to uh, kind of remedy that a little bit. I also turned up the sound effects volume a little bit. I also noticed it was a little bit, a little bit uh, quiet as far as that's concerned. I should probably hide that weapon, considering there was a cop right there. I'm not gonna have him be like, "Oh, that guy's running around behind a weapon shop and picking up a discarded pistol." I should probably do something about that, seeing as these guys probably don't have concealed weapons licenses. Because why would anybody really have that? This is this isn't the time for that. Yeah. That actually worked out pretty good. <laughs> I wasn't anticipating that to go over that well, but hey, I'm not going to sit here and argue with it. That was uh, that was awesome. However, now I'm kind of stuck. Actually, I wonder I wonder if there's one of those uh, little secret thingamajigs down here. Definitely not. Ah, no, there's not. Actually, there probably is, let's be honest. Oh, am I hearing a Diablo Stallion driving down the road? I'm not hearing anything driving down the road. Oh! What the hell? That guy's driving in the wrong lane. Well, shit. Of course. Oh, no. Give me your car, you bastard. Oh, wow. Well, that guy just did it for me. Dove out right in front. What the hell? What is that guy doing? <laughs> oh, man. That guy just, like, flipped a U-ass right in the middle of the road and totally obliterated that guy. That was awesome. I'm going to change the station. Yes, yeah, some head radio. Some good old-fashioned porn radio. Now, what the hell was I doing? Oh, yeah. hi <laughs> Oh, that was great. Come on, dude. Get out of here, dude. You don't want to know this shit. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, I don't want to make this thing fly into the water. Oh, these guys got back in the car. Shit, I forgot how to shoot. There we go, that guy's dead. I will gladly take that weapon. Dude, this guy is going nuts, and he's gonna die. <laughs> that guy just went and killed himself. He... Well, alright. <laughs> I got no problem with that. That guy did my job for me. He's like, I have no will to live. And he was probably gonna kill me anyway, so I might as well just end it all right now. In stock at ammunition. Oh, do they have the Uzi in stock now? I didn't. I didn't actually see it. I was too busy trying to drive like a regular person. Of course, that's how everybody drives anymore. Everybody's always like looking down at their phone, or in this case, your pager. Oh, I, yeah, that's right. I, I can only be there between 5 a.m. and 11 a.m. That's like the weirdest hours ever. Oh God, get out of the car! Get out of the car! It's gonna blow. There we go. It's kind of really weird hours for uh, mechanics like for an auto repair shop from oh damn that guy's got a shitload of money give me that I want all that cash right now yeah oh no what the hell did I do to that guy what is his problem with me I wanted that money first bitch that's, that's probably what he's saying he's like I wanted that money first how dare you be an asshole and take it from me hey there's just a car idly sitting right there I got no problem with that. Well, since we can't do any of uh, any of Joey Fatone's missions over here, we might as well go back to uh, back to Luigi over here and see what he's got. 
So I definitely, I'm, I'm almost positive that I saw a ghost last night. It was, it was really weird, actually. So I went to my brother's house, um, because his wife, you know, was out for the evening, so usually whenever that happens is when we, when we kick it. So I go over there and we, you know, we're playing, uh, we were playing the new, uh, the new Hitman game, because it came out like a couple days ago and he went and picked it up. And that game is totally awesome, by the way. I, I may or may not do a Let's Play of that someday when I have the means to do it. Um... So afterwards, we decide we're going to go out and get something to eat. So we're driving in like this little, this little, you know, ratchet ass neighborhood. Let me uh, see what Sinbad's got to say here. Oh, that's right. He doesn't talk ever. That, that's right. He's a mute. Well, all right. That sounds that sounds fine. I should probably get like a. Actually, no. This car will work perfect for this because there's it's a it's a four door car. That's that's gonna be great. So we got five minutes to do this. So you know we decided to go out looking for a place to eat. We had no idea where we were gonna go. Go figure. I should probably not be going this way. This is way further away than I want to be. And there's a whole bunch of girls that are right next to that place, so we might as well go that way. There's definitely a girl that was like two blocks away, but. It's all right. We'll, we'll do it the way. We'll do it my way, as Usher said once. That really was not the way that I wanted to do that. Uh, how many do we need to get? I don't. I think it was six. That sounds about right. Damn it! I'm doing it again. Say, <laughs> this car is going to be all blown to hell by the time I actually get somebody. Um. So we're driving around, and you know we're we're coming up like on the side of the road here and I, we see like this uh, this guy riding his bike and he's got like reflectors on and all that and all that stuff and uh, he kinda like pulls off on this little side street uh, that's where we gotta go right here so you like pull off on this little side street and we're like we weren't that far behind him there we go there's one so he pulls off on this little side street and we like we you know pull up next to him we just kinda look down the street as we walk by and there was nobody there like he had only pulled off that street maybe like a minute, or not even a minute, maybe like five seconds um, before we got up next to it, and he was literally gone. I mean, and it was like it was like a little mini cul-de-sac too. Like there wasn't any real, there wasn't really any room for him to to really hide necessarily, or really to go without us being able to you know openly see him. It was so weird. We're like, where the hell did that guy go? He was just straight up gone. We're like, so we pretty much saw a ghost. Not to mention we almost ran over two people in the midst of doing that. Come on, you little sluts. Where are you at? I want to pick you up and take you to this party so you can make the man lots and lots of cash by shaking your ass and watching yourself as... What the hell was that? Was that Mystical that made that song? Shake your ass. Watch yourself. Shake your ass. Show me what you're working with. Get in the car, black 70s girl with a fro. I think I got room for one more. As long as I'm not, you know, blowing up the car here, then we're going to be in good shape. I've only got two and a half minutes, though, to get one other person here. I should probably just go drop these three off. Come on, baby. Ah! It's bad news. I don't want to blow up my car here, because then trying to find a new car will take the extra two minutes just to find one. The only downside is I really wish this car was faster. Oh no! I really need to get better at driving this thing. I mean, I know I understand it's raining right now, but that's, that's no excuse. This is one of those games where driving's at least a little more realistic in a in a sense. It's not completely realistic. Okay, there we go. We got four. We need some more. We got two minutes to get like one more person here. I think I, I don't I don't remember. I know this is a mission that they don't tell you. Like, it's not the one where it just outright tells you, hey, you've already got enough people. You just gotta keep going with it. And especially because I wasn't paying attention to how many he said that he needed. Okay, there's, there's a little slew bag right over here. I think I might be able to pick up one more, and then we might have to run back over that way real quick, like... Come on, baby! Yeah, I really hope that, uh when I render this this time, it's not going to make the video all dark and, like, really shitty looking, because that's totally what happened, and I was kind of upset by that. I, w I was really... Wow, what are you doing? 
These guys are really terrible about the way they switch lanes. At least, you know, make it a little bit easier on me here. All right, here we go. Jump on in. You look just like your sister. I wonder how many times there's been just, like, families full of prostitutes. Where they're just, like, you know... Or, like, just a whole, like, straight-up family prostitution ring. Where it's, like, you know, the, the parents are running it, and then the kids are the ones that are, you know, doing everything. I need to get there now. Holy smokes. 30 seconds! Ah, Jesus. This car is just terrible as far as handling is concerned. But I think I might still make it. Oh, God, okay, I was just hoping I wasn't going to light the damn car on fire by doing that. I should have got a charter bus. That would have been the way to do it. I could have picked up the entire damn city with that. Come one, come all! Come shake your ass and have sex with random people at the policeman's ball. There we go. I think that's probably going to be enough. I don't think that they could really expect you to get any more than that in five minutes. Of course, they, they could, actually, but... Did I get enough? Yeah, I sure did. Well, how about them apples? I don't even understand what that. I don't even understand what that that reference means, really. Like, how about them apples? Who gives a shit about those apples? I don't. I don't even like apples that much. Mike Lips, last lunch. In a moment, sweetheart. I got a little business to take care of. I got a the Crouton Nine Thousand. What kind of name of a car is that? Lips Ferrelli is stuffed in his fat face in the St. Mark's Bistro, so steal his car and take it to 8 Ball's bomb shop up in Harwood. You know 8 Ball, right? Of course Once I do. You fitted it with a bomb, go park the car where you found it. Then sit back and watch the whole show. But hurry up, you won't be eating forever. Of course he will. He's Fat Lips Ferrelli. He'll be eating as long as he needs to be. Alright, where's my car? I should take that taxi. It's definitely a lot faster of a car, but... Actually, you know what? No, no, no. Give me this truck. Give me the truck. Because <laughs> I can, you know, run par I can run the same speed as a, as a truck, just about. Yeah, give me this game FM. Is that the one? Yeah, this is the rap station. I love the rap station in this game. The one in San Andreas is definitely way better, but you know what? I'll just uh, I'll work with what I'm given here. Pets over. Yeah, so I'm gonna go take my take my pet to an overnight veterinarian. Make sure I park. I'm gonna park all nice and, and tidy, and then mess up the hood of it. I love how he doesn't, you know, recognize that I'm down here stealing his car. But of course, this is the type of guy that would probably never have his car alarm on. He'd be like, oh, there's a car that looks exactly like mine that's leaving right now. got to make sure I don't bust up this car, otherwise I don't have to go get it, like, re-sprayed and everything, get it all repaired and shite. So I'll make sure we're careful with this. got to bust out my, uh, my, you know, driver's ed skills right now. There we go. Good old eight ball. Because, you know, every, every city totally allows that type of thing. The police really just has no idea that that's going on. Oh, just bring your car by my bomb shop, as it says on the sign outside. <laughs> There's really, you know, no other way that you could just get by. Oh, jeez. God. <laughs> Apparently the brakes and turning don't work simultaneously anymore, I guess. All right, let's head up this way, and we'll go drop off, drop off the old car ski here. Nanstap rack, dude. I, I, uh, I had a customer that, I, or actually, I wasn't even a customer. I had to call in an order the other day, and uh, this lady had the most outrageous. Oh wait, no, I, did, I need to activate that bomb first. Let me do that. There we go. I need to get the hell out of here right now. Jump in this nice little Sentinel and watch the show. This is not working out very well. There we go. I guess I was supposed to drive away. I forgot that you're supposed to actually leave the premise. Wow, you could not walk any slower. Then again, you're probably full. You probably had yourself a nice, uh, a nice Reuben sandwich. Huh. <laughs> that sign's awesome. Eat till you explode. Literally, like right now. Boom, bitch. You're dead. 
And nobody's really going to say much about that, except for the one cop that's been notified about this. At least somebody actually told him. Oh god, there we go. Wow, okay, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to get all up in that stoop action there. Hey! Stoop kid's afraid to leave his stoop! I'm spreading the word! But yeah, this lady had the, the most awesome Wisconsin accent. You know, she, it was like one of those things where, you know, you do a sales call and she has to repeat back everything that I say so that, you know, we know that I'm ordering the right thing. And, uh, pretty much, she's, uh, she's, like, repeating it. Calcium carbonate powder. Chunky some astaxanthin. For some new gang from Columbia or Colorado or something. I'm not <laughs> yes, really Colorado. sure. Yes, Colorado. Anyway, he's got a noodle stand down in Chinatown. That rat has sold his last stir fry. I want you to take him out. If you need a piece, go around back of ammunition opposite the subway. Sort yourself with a nine. You know where it is, right? Well, remember, just watch your back in Chinatown. It's triad territory. I like how he said that the exact same way as Luigi. If you need a piece, go around behind ammunition opposite the subway. He could have just said go to ammunition. We kind of, we kind of know where that is already. But hey, if you want to, if you want to tell me exactly where things are, if that's gonna help you sleep at night, then go right ahead. Okay, so we need to get over there. I think as soon as I get this mission done, it'll probably be all I can do for now. But hey, pretty damn productive, I would say, for today. Getting three three missions knocked out. Pretty easily at that. Alright, here's ammunition opposite the subway. Go right on in here. There's probably going to be a piece back here for us. Thank you. I'll take that. We got a lot of ammo, but I think we should probably... I think we can go bust out an Uzi in here. Can we, or is that all we got? Nope, not about. yet. We'll have that soon. That's that's what was going on. Let's see. Alex Smith reacts to the benching for Colin Kaepernick. I'd be kind of pissed off too if I were him, but if you're a team player, you got to run with it. You know, Colin Kaepernick has been doing good. I'm not really a 49ers fan, but hey, my brother is, so I kind of have to like keep up on this stuff a little bit now. This is not going to go over very well, I feel like. Why is this guy just walking in here right now with a gun? Oh yeah, this is gonna be all sorts of bad. Look at this guy. He sold his last stuff, uh, right? Um, nope, nope, nope. This guy. Okay. Oh, we need to get out of here. I didn't realize I didn't have that much health. Oh god. Oh god. We need to get over here. Okay. What we need to do is we need to. I know that guy's gonna come out this way. He's gonna. He's already jumped in the car, so we're gonna go. We're going to go cut him off at the pass down here. I'm coming after you, you son of a bitch! Of course, he got the slow car. This is going to this is gonna make this terribly, terribly easy. Of course, I'm probably going to make my car blow up, and then he's going to escape. He's very persistent. If we can kind of get him over where I want him, then this is going to be very, very easy. Maybe I can shoot him through the window. I guess that's not gonna work. Oh, you bastard. Of course that would happen. As soon as I get out of the car, now he decides he's gonna do something about it. It's alright though, he still can't really get away from me. Here we go, here we go. Now he's gonna run like a jackass. Look at the way he's running right now. That is the gayest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you run like that? Oh dear God, don't kill me! All I do is I make stir fries for a living! Alright guys, well we have run out of time for this episode. I'm gonna go uh, jump down to the old save, the old uh, saving shop down here. And then, uh, you know, I'm just gonna speed right next to this cop here. And well actually, we're gonna dump this car off in here. I, I, I like the Mafia Sentinel. Or actually, that's just the regular one. Who knows? Who cares? So yeah, we're going to do that when we come back on the next episode of Let's Play Grand Theft Auto 3. Well, we got more missions to do. So uh, you guys take care. I'm going to go jump in the shower right now because I am cold as all get out right now. Plus, I'm really hungry. I got a nasty, nasty taste in my mouth and I got a French dip sitting in the fridge waiting for me to eat. So you guys take care and uh, I will see you later and uh, Ducks basketball and Memphis basketball playing today. So that is what I'm doing. Peace out.